right now, during this time, there's a lot of negative energy that is coming up to the surface during this mass time of chaos. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can keep your vibration extremely high during this time. Five practical techniques and tips that are helping me keep my vibration at a very high level. Welcome back everyone to the Matrix Unveiled. My name is Thanuj and I help people evolve their consciousness. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five different techniques that I will use to keep my vibration high. Five tips and tricks basically that are going to be essential for you to deal with all of the negative energy. Because if you haven't noticed already, because of all of the chaos, all of the negative energy that is happening on the news, that is happening in society, that is happening in these different cities where there's riots and protesting and fighting and racial division happening, all of that negative energy is causing many of us to feel very overwhelmed. Understand that what's happening right now is the collective shadow of the earth, of the human collective, is being brought to the surface because of the higher vibrational energies that are coming in through these different star alignments, this different time period. We are in the age of Aquarius. This is the year 2020. This is the year of full vision. So what is the first technique that you can use to really keep your vibration high? Okay, technique number one is to spend lots of time in nature, to take nature walks, okay? Here's the key. Nature holds the key. The nature holds all of the energy. Nature holds all of the good vibrations. And when you're connecting to nature, you're no longer connected to this man-made matrix. You're not connected to your computer, your smartphone, you know, the television, the Wi-Fi, all of that stuff. You're connecting to the natural frequencies of the earth, such as the Schumann resonance, such as the energies from the trees, such as the energies from the grass and the sun. So the more you get in touch with nature, the higher your vibration will become. The better you will feel, the more you'll be able to stay in the flow state, and the easier your life will be, especially during these specific times of mass chaos, mass panic, and mass hysteria. The next tip that I have, tip number two for keeping your vibration at a very high level is to get off social media, okay? I understand a lot of us are always on social media and we're always obsessed with social media. We want to see what's going on. We want to talk to people and sometimes many of us don't have too many people to talk to. So we go on social media and we connect with others. But if you are going on social media and you're always getting upset, you're always getting drained of your energy and there's always issues that are happening because you're on social media, because you're paying attention to what the mainstream is uh, narrating, such as for example, the black box thing, you know, Blackout Tuesday or all of the riots, all of that stuff. See, if you were not on social media, you wouldn't know about most of this stuff. You wouldn't be paying attention. You wouldn't have your energy intertwined. Remember, where you put your attention and your energy, that's where your focus goes. What you consume with your eyes and with your, your different senses is what programs your soul, programs your reality, programs your consciousness, which then manifests your reality. I guarantee you, if you were to let go of a lot of this chaotic energy, of, of a lot of this stuff on social media, all of this fighting, all this debating, all of these people arguing with each other, saying who's right, who was wrong, you know, what's going to happen. If you were to just ignore all of that stuff by turning off social media, that would be so powerful. Now, if you can't turn off social media, what's another good step that you can do? Ask yourself this right now. Anyone you're following on Instagram, anyone you're following on YouTube, anyone you're following on, on Twitter, Facebook, all of that stuff, if you are following them, and they are bringing low vibrations to your space, to your, to your mind, to your consciousness. If you are feeling worse after you talk to them, that's a toxic person. That's a low vibrational person. That's someone that's going to drag you into negative energies. So what are you going to do about this? 
You need to remove these people from your life. Block them, delete them, remove them as a friend, stop following them, unsubscribe. It's really not that hard. Control your sphere. Control what you allow into your senses. The better you allow, the better you control what you allow into your senses, the more you will be able to filter out these negative frequencies. Remember, everything is a frequency. All sounds, all videos, all pictures, they're all frequencies. You have to choose which frequency you want in your life because remember, you are a frequency-based being, okay? So if you control what you allow on your social media profile, you will be able to better handle all of the fear, all of the chaos, all of the negative energy that's constantly being propagated because that is the purpose. They want to fuel that negative energy. Tip number three I have for you today is to immerse yourself in your life purpose and your passion. What are you passionate about? What do you care about deeply? What are you trying to achieve in this world and how are you going to make an impact? How are you going to make the world better? When you immerse yourself in your passion, you basically get a tunnel vision. And it's not a bad kind of tunnel vision. It's a good tunnel vision. Meaning you're so focused, that's all you really care about. You're only focused on what you're going to be doing and how you're supposed to be helping this world. You're in a total alignment with your consciousness and with, you know, the matrix, with the universe. So... The more you get into alignment with yourself and what you're meant to be doing, the less you really care about what's going on out there because you have goals from within. You have a mission from within. You have a purpose from within. A lot of these people that are focusing on the riots and, you know, causing destruction, they don't have a purpose. They don't have any reason to wake up in the morning. So guess what they do? They jump on the bandwagon. They're easily manipulated by these different forces, by these different energies, because they're simply worker slaves. You know, they just clock in and clock out at a job, and no disrespect to anyone that does that. But what I'm saying is that if you do that, you're selling your soul short. You're selling yourself short and your soul short. So, you know, you are basically giving away your energy um, for exchange for specific amounts of, of currency or money. But when you're immersed in your passion, you're in alignment, you're in vibrational alignment, and you are working to really help the world. You're not interested in just causing a bunch of chaos or destruction or just following the herd because you have a specific vision and you're carving your own path instead of following what everybody else is doing. Number four, spend lots of time with family and friends, okay? Make sure this kind of goes hand in hand with the social media. If you were to just stop, you know, worrying about what's going on with everyone out there in the internet, instead of just uh, focusing on your family and your friends and the people that are closest to you around you and just spending time with them, you're going to be in a much better position because you're going to be connected to the people that you love the most. And when you heal those relationships, when you when you focus on you know being around those those loving people that are around you, you see okay if my family is doing okay and my friends are doing okay, you know I, I really shouldn't believe what's going on in the news or the mainstream because, well, my family is clearly doing okay. So yes, there's probably people suffering out there, but what am I supposed to do here? All I can do is take care of myself and my family. And then once they're taken care of, I can slowly extend my circle and start to help others. But if you focus on your family and your friends, you will build that love. You will build that connection. And you won't have to worry about all of this negative energy and all this stuff that's happening in the world. Um, a lot of us have gotten caught up in all of this chaos. And chaos energy, that's what it does. It, it gets you caught up in it. It gets you focused in it. And then you can't really break out you're stuck. So you have to learn to really, um, you know, master the ability to be amongst the chaos, but not fall victim to it. Number five, meditate, meditate, meditate. This is a time of a lot of meditation. I've been upping my meditation uh, about two hours a day now. And, you know, I'm doing meditation when I, when I feel tired, when I feel drained after I do a lot of work, because I know 
that meditation is so crucial. We need to heal our shadows right now. You, you can't have a bunch of shadow consciousness right now. This is the time to explore your shadow consciousness. Go deeper into what's painting your or what's painting you. Go deeper into what's you know um, not feeling right within you. Start to work on those aspects so you can really open yourself up for abundance, for you know a higher vibrational life. Meditate. Start really calming your mind. Make sure your mind is calm. Make sure you're in a peaceful state most of the time. Make sure you're not stressed out. Because if you're stressed out, then you know just a, a small little event that's happening in the world can cause even more energy to make you freak out. But if you're in a meditative state most of the time, you're going to be very aware. You're going to be very confident. You're going to be very peaceful. You're not going to be worried too much about what's happening in the world. You're going to be focused more on how can I make a difference and how can I heal myself? But number one, you got to heal yourself first before you can make that difference. If you do a lot of meditation, you will find most of the problems are within you, within ourselves. We have the problems within ourselves. They manifest externally. <clears throat> but if you don't do this meditation, if you're not consistently meditating, I recommend every single person meditates at least 30 minutes a day. If you need help on how to meditate, go to my website, thematrixunveil.com. Buy the beginner's meditation guide um, PDF. It's an ebook and a video. It's five dollars. Everyone can afford it, but you know that will teach you exactly how to meditate, the techniques that I use, and it will teach you how to make sure you are not going to be susceptible to all of these negative frequencies. Um, and you know, as you heal your shadow self, you'll be more and more at peace with the world, even if the world is coming crumbling down you will still be at peace with yourself and the world. So I've been meditating way more and you know, I'm going to be meditating even more today um, just because we need to detach. We need to remove ourselves from the world. When the world gets the most chaotic, when the world starts to fall apart, when the world starts to get very turbulent, negative, guess what you do? You go inward and you stop focusing on the external because remember light observation of light causes a change in behavior the double slit experiment. So when you understand that, when you truly understand the holographic reality behind this matrix, you will then understand that as you take away your light, your consciousness, your perception of this matrix, it changes its behavior. As you purify your light from within, you purify the light externally. The more you heal your subconscious mind and your traumas, the better the manifestations of the world and the collective will be. Each time you battle your shadow, and you cleanse your shadow, you've battled and you've helped the human collective more than you will ever know. So last thing I want to say is that if you're interested in working with me one on one for private coaching, go ahead and reach out to me in the description below the matrix and uh, apply for one on one coaching. It's in the description below. Um, I will guide you and coach you. The first consultation call is of course free because I have to see how we work together and if I can actually even coach you if you need coaching, those kinds of things. But if you are struggling with your shadow consciousness, if you are struggling with all of this negative energy and all of this stuff, I highly recommend you reach out to me because I will be able to help you. Much love guys, make sure you guys apply this technique, all of five of these techniques every single day, you will raise your consciousness, you will manifest your reality, and you will be in a much more peaceful and loving state. Love, gratitude, and peace.